Hey guys, so I just wanted to report my steering, which I still have a little vibration. I still have a little bit of a lack of confidence in certain situations, but the actual pump itself is pumping properly now. This is the aftermarket pump still. Um, I'm at a loss of words. I don't know why it was doing that. Now, I really, I was going crazy over it because I didn't know, I didn't make sense to me. But um, I, I think it was just the new pump had to break in. I had, had to mesh with my current system. I don't know, but um, my steering's back. So in other words, like I'm like this. It's a little bit better at higher speeds. I still think I need compliance bushings though. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's got a good bit of like, so like I'm going straight, right? I could just kind of only move it about that much and it was like a stiff, like a, you're not going to the left or right without really nudging me loose, you know? It's nice and it's telling me I'm in the middle, I'm going perfectly straight and I'm not gonna go either way until you want me to go that way, you know? It's kind of got these cars, I mean, it's not a heavy steering system. It's just a heavier feel to it than the RDX we have. Um, it's just, just a little bit on the heavier side for like a normal car, but it's definitely not a heavy system at all. Just figured I'd go ahead and show y'all that. I'm just I 10 in Metairie right now. All right, yeah, I'll get like a little lane change or something, some lane change in action, because I gotta get off up here. Kinda nice, and it's got that little snap to it. You know, it means I can, I can kind of just see if I can get my lights on. Like I'm saying, I can kind of just do that little thing where I could just kind of, you know, do that little that little ricer weave. I want my yellow fog lights so I can pull up behind people that drive really slow and do that. <laughs> my, little, my little ricer weave thingy where you just kind of rock the wheel just a little bit like they do in, I don't know some early 2000s stuff right there. <laughs> All right, guys. But the steering feels way better, but I still want to have my compliance bushings checked again and my other bushings, and I want to have my, um, what you call them, uh, transmission mounts checked. I think something's still up because I still hear a little clunk, and it feels better, but I still have some vibration. Let's get power outage. I'm just getting off at clear view. I get that humming noise, too, in, in the 40, 50 mile an hour range, but I try to show this on camera my handling is pretty good now taking this turn before at 35 I would be squealing and I could take it at 50 now but this is a 35 zone anyway so eh, whatever we gotta make the green nah oh, I pause the video might pause the video and show y'all the uh, left turn. It's a nice BMW right there, 3 Series. Ooh, well, that's a nice Accord. It's a Sport. All right, I'm gonna pause it. Let's see, my light should be turning green. Ah, oh, it's gonna be the other side. I'm gonna pause it again. Still not, that's a weird cycle. There we go. All right, let's get an acceleration running. I'm at the speed limit now. Let's get a night. Yeah. Let's get that nice right turn. Let's try to see. 90 degrees. At... All right, 30 miles an hour. A little bit of body roll. Nothing crazy. Not much tire squeal. Probably think I'm a lunatic. All right, guys, y'all take care.